Good morning. Welcome to the 9 a.m. update for Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. It's our continuation of our winter storm. I'm going to call it a winter storm because we are adding in ice and it is becoming a real significant problem around the I-95 corridor, right in the heart of our rush hour. The key observation that stands out to me is that our freezing line at the surface appears to be stalling and our winds are back into the north as our low pressure system starts to shift towards the coastal waters. And that means that the freezing line is stalling out. Currently, right now, we've been at 30.9 degrees Fahrenheit since about 90 minutes. It has it's been steadily rising throughout the morning, but it's pretty much stopped at 30.9 with winds coming in from the north around five miles per hour. And we're seeing that throughout much of the I-95 corridor. So now you're getting reports of sleet and freezing rain around Farmingdale. You're getting freezing rain at 29 degrees uh, down towards Wrightstown in New Jersey, freezing rain at 30 degrees down towards Atlantic City, we're at 33 degrees and rain. And in Wildwood, we're at 40 and rain. But we haven't moved. We haven't warmed up since. Uh, we've been at these temperatures for the past two hours now. It really hasn't warmed up since then. And out towards Long Island, this is where we're seeing the majority of our warming right now, where you have winds coming in from the east on the east end of Long Island. You have temperatures warming up into the mid to upper 30s towards the east end of Long Island. So the key point here is that the winds are directing are telling us where we're going to see the majority of the warming over the next couple of hours and it's going to be over the east side of long island not over the i-95 corridor now we're getting that northerly wind now we're going to start to transport cold air back into these levels at the lower levels but what about the mid levels well that's a little bit more complicated first of all at the surface there's our surface low there's our freezing line starting to stall out, which means that anything that falls here is going to be in the form of frozen precipitation. And that frozen precipitation is falling in the form of, if I pull that up properly, of rain, freezing rain and sleet because of this warm layer. Now, this area of low pressure starting to develop at 9 to 25 millibars is heading towards the Jersey Shore. So this is pretty much going to stall out. At 850 millibars, same scenario is starting to happen here. More of a trough, an open trough, not a closed low. Again, this is not a strong storm. Your warm air transport is continuing along the coast, but starting to peter out. And now you're starting to get the influence of that Arctic shortwave coming in with Arctic air invading the region once again. So again, this opens up the scenario here that we're seeing on the HRR of a prolonged period of freezing rain and sleet on the I-95 corridor to the north, periods of moderate and possibly even some heavy snowfall potential here as we move on through the late morning hours to the north and west of the major cities to over northern New Jersey, around Allentown, north of Philadelphia, north of Trenton, uh, off towards Hartford. This is where you're gonna pick up a lot of your snowfall uh, if you're wondering, hey, I only got a half an inch or an inch in Connecticut, you're about to get a lot more. But now this is becoming a real ice concern on the I-95 corridor based on what we're seeing here all the way through noon. And then as we move on through the afternoon hours, that freezing mix changes back over to snow and ends as snow. And that is matching up perfectly with what we're seeing with the radar here. We're starting to see it grow and blossom. Let me refresh this real fast. And again, this is on weather tap. Our low pressure system to the south is approaching. Here is our precipitation starting to expand. Here's the polar shortwave coming in. This area is going to start to fill in next as the precipitation intensifies here on the, on the uh, coastal plain. And again, you can see that lifting really taking place here on the infrared satellite picture with those cold cloud tops growing. Let's take a look and get an update picture. And again, there's our growth starting to take shape here. So everything's pretty much evolving as expected. This is going to be an icy mess this morning. So if we don't have to travel, please stay home. It's not worth it. In the meantime, stay safe out there.